I'm somewhere in um, Ijebu, Mushin, where they have over 100,000 birds, I think. Yeah. Bros, how many, how many birds are this ground? The capacity of everything? Okay, 42,000. Okay, okay. So, 42,000 birds. I'm here disposing their poultry waste is not a problem for them because they have the valley down there very large in fact this poultry farm is so large end to end you can't see the fence you have to walk they, they drive within so they discharge all their waste down into the ditch there the valley so disposing their waste is not a problem for them but what they're interested in is they are trying to see how or they wanted to see how they can use part of the running waste that goes how they can use part of it to generate renewable energy. And so I was contracted to handle it. And we thought about creating a dam here, which you can see. So we, we blocked up the waste running through and created an open channel here. So you see it. So as the waste keep coming, here gets full and they run into this system, as you can see. Now, poultry waste is one of the most difficult wastes. After poultry waste, then you have pig waste. But poultry waste is the most difficult waste to handle because of coagulation and um, feathers. So that's why we have the filtration unit that filters the feather first. Imagine if all this thick feather ran into your digester itself, then there'll be serious problems since we've sealed everything. So we have the feather that is stuck here. Over time, they pack it out. From here, you notice that the color of the waste, the color of the waste is uh, yellow as a raw waste. When it comes in here, it becomes black, although not too black anyway. Then it goes into the main digester itself. And the digester itself has an outlet that comes out here. Now I want to show you something. Look at the color of what comes out of the digester. Compare this to this. See the color of the raw waste going into the digester. And see the color of what is coming out. Can you see that this is pure fertilizer, black and digested. And so from here, all the digested particles all the digest, all the um, waste entering into, into the biogas digester goes all the way, produces gas. The gas goes all the way and then runs into the gas bag, which is swelling up real fast. We opened this today and this is what we are having already. You can see. This is a 10 cubic meter biogas digester. It's getting very big. So the gas that goes in there, first of all, comes into a dryer, empty dryer, that drops water or drips water. So as it gets full, they screw it out and they pour away. Clean water, actually, from the system. Then from here, it serves the bag. As you can see, but then for us to run for them for us to run a big generating plant of about 20 kva with biogas we have to purify it so from there it runs down into my scrubber the scrubber cleans the gas very clean that you cannot even perceive the odor thereby scrubbing out carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide at the same time and then from this hose is being sent into the generator.